Hello all, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, this video is the part of sales module. Today I'm going to discuss about the customer relationship management. And today I'm going to discuss um, like about the pre-sales steps that happen into the company in like within the company and how they handle that to get the sales from a new customer or to attract the customer for the sales. And we're going to discuss everything in detail right after this. So imagine your company top goals are increase the sales and customer satisfaction and you want to use the pre-sales document to tell to track the sales pipeline you know so from beginning to interaction of to the customer to like selling the goods to the customer or the service selling the uh, selling even the service to the customer so uh, the thing is like in the whole process there is like a lot of activity going on before uh, before get a customer like you have to have a lead to get a customer right so in that one there is like four new document get into uh, get into the line before creating a sales order so that would be like the activity activity is basically anything that you do to interact a customer into your company you can record that as an activity and then second would be the campaign the camera the campaign is like something that you have a new product or you need the new customer and you want to interact them and you can just create a campaign to like publish your product or make re make the availability and reachability throughout the social media uh, and by sending the email or making the phone call to them and you can record everything by the campaign as well so once you do a campaign then that could create a, uh, an opportunity to buy that and uh, to sell that sorry to sell sell some items to the customer and that time that become possible to uh, to uh, get uh, get a customer from your lead and create a quotation and after the quotation the could be easily converted to the sales order delivery and then invoice and afterward you can receive the payment or uh, the whole process is called the sales uh, the sales crm combined and i'm gonna put the bit of light into uh, into every uh, every part of the pre-sales activity and so for example let's talk about the activity because the activity is something very important and throughout the process an activity is imagine like anything that you uh, that you use to interact with the customer is can be uh, added in the activity of sap business one either it can be a task it can be a campaign it can be a simple call a meeting or even a single note that you just received from the customer by the response of an email so let's take a look one by one so the crm module is basically different from the sales module but that's also the part of sales because it's the pre-sales. So we're gonna talk about that one by one. So basically you can you can record the activity by directly opening this activity. There is plenty of ways to create an activity in SAP Business One. And there is a transaction activity in the business partner module. Like even though if you open a business partner and you can create an activity from here, you can create an activity directly from this screen or you can just open the calendar so my mistake if you open the calendar and you can basically change uh, the view that you want the work week and week and if you double click on that the activity get, will get open and you can add that so there is uh, many different ways of creating activity but the goal of the each activity is like whatever you record with the date and time that's going to be uh, visible into your calendar itself in the activity so uh, so for the activity let's say you want to uh, create an a uh, phone call the first phone call with your uh, with your uh, user you can select a subject by creating a new product right 
and you just use that new product in the assign tool you can either use the uh, activity only for yourself or you can create the activity for the employees you can uh, you can create the recipient list right and in the recipient list you can define the new people and you can add them like how many how many uh, should be in there and you can create the recipient list or you can just add here find if some uh, have it if you already have a list if you save it and then you can see the list here as well and once you save it and you can uh, you can add the recipient list there too so or you can use the multiple recipient that we just saw so you can select the multiple recipient from here too right so we're gonna use for let's say one user and you can create an activity from here for a particular user for a particular time a start date and a start time it's something like a meeting now these days that we do like in our microsoft team or something so that you can handle here as well then uh, every event you can you can record basically like a phone call or a meeting a task a note or anything or anything like that you pop up my name pop up in your head you can record in the activity also if here if you're creating activity from here you have to enter the business partner manually but if you're creating activity directly from the business partner you select one of the customer go here and when you create an activity from here the business partner will be selected automatically and the date and time you can enter by yourself you know, the way you want it all right then there is another way of uh, like once you create the activity you should receive that alert as a reminder right so when you create an activity then you should receive a reminder let's say in the 15 minutes before of that activity and that you can enable by two ways either you can go to the administration setup general user and go to that particular user and you can enable the send alert for the activity schedule for today once you check that in in the service tab you're gonna receive all the notification into uh, into your notification menu like in the message and alert and then you will see that okay you have a meeting with some customer or there's another way to enable that from the general settings services and send alert for the activity schedule today right and there, that's the two ways to enable them then there is another possibility to create the recurring event so like it's if that meeting gonna happen daily then you can just create the repeat every day or every weekday right and it's a start from here and after and should be when you want to end but there will be no ending you know and that's how you can uh, you can manage them too by the recurring right so there is like plenty of ways that we talked about the activity now let's talk about the campaign that you can create and creating a campaign also there is two ways so if you go into the crm you can create the campaign directly from here right you can just enter a campaign name the target group the target group basically you can basically you can define from the administration setup business partner and the target group and you can define the target group like which group you are going to target right the customer and the vendor and that's how you can create them so let's say t001 target and that's how you're gonna create the target group you want this target group and do you want to replace all the existing business partner to this target group and it's gonna ask and then you can select all the customers that you wanted to add in this in this group and and basically you can enter some remark some uh, you can add some items which item you wanna sell you can define some partner and their relationship and some attachment if you wanna add right so that would be the one way to create a campaign and basically that use for the marketing to lead or existing customer to the different media right so there is another way to come uh, to create a campaign is by the using the wizard of campaign wizard inside the crm and once you're using that wizard you have to give a new campaign name let's say crm01 and campaign01 you're gonna go next right and then here also you can select the target group you can select for the customer using the email fax and the different ways 
you can add the owner like who would kind of handle this but right now i don't have any employees you have to add an employee you can end the date of the campaign of you can add the items you can add the partners the same way but in the multiple you can select for the uh, one and you can also select the html uh, html template uh, that you wish to add for your promotion that is optional for sure you can just add the next and hit the business partner and then you can just finish that whole document by adding the whole campaign so that's pretty basically uh, that's pretty basic and simple uh, steps and after after imagine you have just uh, created the campaign you interact with the multiple customer and that creates the opportunity to interact with some new locals uh, some local vendors that you want to that who want to purchase your product or who want to take your services that leads to a, a opportunity that call the sales opportunity basically and the sales opportunity allow you to manage the sales cycle for potential sales uh, with a customer or a lead so you can link any activity relevant to the opportunity as well the whole opportunity is <clears throat> basically you can add like the business partner that you just interacted with right and the business partner territory like right now there is no none right the sales employee who gonna take care of that and like the prediction closing date well like how many days you need to close the whole sales and the range of like which one would be uh, basically the interaction ways of interacting that customer all right mm, and basically there is one important thing is called the stage uh, so in this stage you can create the multiple stage so let's say you have a lead uh, and that's going to be uh, let's say that five percent of uh, five percent of your sales so i'm going to create this one and i'm going to say okay i have the five percent chances of getting this one and the closing date would be uh, on monday then i'm going to say once i'm going to close this one then i'm going to need a new row and in 5 and 15 uh, by 17 i'm going to say this would be let's say 20 percent sales gonna be closed and the potential amount i'm gonna say would be uh 205 uh, 2500 uh euros that i'm gonna talk about in the meeting uh right and you analyze their need and identify the suitable product for them and you record more info on the bp right for the in the business partner then uh, you say okay after that i'm gonna do the second meeting and we're gonna negotiate the uh, the prices the payment term and the, the, the other stuff and that would be uh, gonna be my 40 percent of the uh, uh, opportunity that i'm gonna cover and that time we're gonna make the quotation of five thousand right to get the potential customer and after that i'm gonna say that okay once we will do that then we're gonna send the quotation because every customer that you create is gonna need a quotation or they ask for the quotation so i'm gonna discuss about the quotation till 25 and then we're gonna send the quotation for six thousand let's say all right and then we're gonna negotiate again because the, the quotation after the quotation the uh, the customer gonna circulate that into the inside of their company and they're gonna discuss about that and then uh, you're gonna negotiate and you're gonna get the money back and uh, sorry that's the percentage that i'm ruining but <laughs> my mistake is but it's basically like the hundred percent that you can do you know so that's how you can manipulate everything into uh, into the opportunity and um, that's gonna tell you like if you lost your sale or you won the sale and the sales opportunity give you the visibility of your whole sales pipeline for the individual sales employee or the company as a whole and um, because you can interact with the uh, with the sales employee you know uh, you can also add, add the list of new employee who is gonna be owner of this one right and that's how you're going to create your opportunity 
as basically you can track the information of what happening in each stage that we are defining and ultimately you can track whether you want the sale or not and reporting is available for analysis or, or opportunity and optimizing for the whole sales process inside the CRM so you can just use the opportunity reports and basically uh, there is multiple uh, multiple reports that you can uh, check like you know the stage analysis even and like I don't have any document but yeah once you create to the stage and you're gonna see all the information using the reporting modules the whole process is work like that so so let's talk a bit more about the sales quotation uh, inside the opportunity because uh, before before buying any product uh, the customer always ask for the quotation that they can they can circulate to their manager before buying them and i hope i have some uh, quotation so as you can see we have a quotation and the quotation can be created by the sales opportunity a campaign an activity or it can also create individually independently uh, by the uh, from any other document the sales quotation document is also the proposal that you can send to the customer basically and that could be uh, that could be valid for a certain period of time and it is used in the city business one but it is not any legal binding document it just uh, for say let's say information purpose that you are going to sell that uh, uh, that item on this price for this particular period of time right the one field which is very important in this one is like valid until which shows like for how long uh, the offer gonna be hold and for that particular price that you offered you can you can modify the date valid uh, uh, field from the uh, from the administration module basically yeah under the system initialization document setting sorry now the numbering document setting you can go to the per document select the sales quotation and you can modify the valid until how many days right and so for example it's right now is one so when you create the sales order right it's is default valid until is set by the number of number of days you've set by the posting period so the due date is you have to select and then you have to close this document so it's basically when you create a sales quotation is default valid until date is set to the number of months days or week after the posting that it is specified in the default valid until date so so for example like uh, you have like right now the let's say i'm gonna set up one week from round on for the sales quotation so once you uh, you see the po the posting days is 11 9 when you select a customer then you will see that it's exactly after seven days your valid until would be from your posting date so that's how it's get, get, get calculated from there and you can change this date manually or uh, by using the payment term defined for this customer as well in here right so when a customer accept the proposal defined in the sales quotation you copy that quotation to the sales order and begin the whole sales process of delivery uh, air invoice and incoming payment so uh, uh, apart from that there is also an add-on of uh, that is uh, there is also an add-on of ms outlook integration add-on and which they are, which basically help you to import the synchronize and contact of your outlook into the sap business one you can save your emails and attachment as an activity in sap business one from the outlook that you receive you can import the task and calendar into the ms outlook and you can also view edit and create sales quotation as well so i'm not going too much deep into that one but if you want to know more about the uh, ms outlook you can let me know into the comment and i will try to uh, try to explain more about this add on uh, if, if, if needed so thank you so much for this uh, and stay tuned please like subscribe to the channel to uh, to get more videos uh, regarding regarding the whole uh, whole playlist 
and get to be uh, up to date with the knowledge. Thank you so much. Bye.